Hello, this is Daniel Burris, author of Flash Foresight, and today I want to talk about visual communications. Uh, no, that's not really video conferencing. Video conferencing typically is in a large company because it's expensive equipment. Uh, it's in a special room and it's always booked by the executives. Why? It's got high value. I'm talking about something else, visual communications. If you've ever used a program like Skype on a laptop or a desktop or today on a phone or on a tablet, to have a communication with a loved one or a relative or something when you're away from home, now you know what visual communications is. By the way, how much did it cost? And the answer is nothing. Whoa, I love powerful tools that are free. And how might you use this? And the answer is, well, first of all, how do you use it now, those of you that are using it? And that is, you're using it instead of having a phone call because you want to see what people are thinking. You see, when you're on the phone with someone, you don't know what they're thinking, you know what they're saying because you can't see their face. You can't see if they're engaged. You can't see if they have a question. You can't see if they're excited. You can't see if they agree with you or disagree with you. You can only wait until you stop talking and they say something. But if you can see someone in real time as you're talking to them, just like you do in normal life, what you can do is adjust your communications in real time to make sure that you're staying relevant and you're keeping them focused. That's why you do it with your kids. That's why you do it with a loved one when you're away on a business trip. So why aren't you doing it with your customers? Why aren't you doing it with your employees right now? Well, you, if you aren't, you will be. And you're gonna be doing it a lot. As a matter of fact, you can predict the future of training and education. If you just think about it, you're all gonna be on television soon. Uh, customer service, sales, maintenance, support, all that stuff. And that means you're gonna need a little training. Maybe you should get the training now before you get on TV and find out, hey, you're not that good. Hey, when I first started doing uh, television interviews, I decided to solve the problem before I had it. Instead of waiting until someone said, hey, you weren't that good, I decided to get training ahead of time. See, if I'm on a stage giving a speech and I say big, I can put my hands out and no problem. But as you could just see, if I do that doing video, it isn't going to work. I got to say big, you know, different thing. So why don't we get training so we can be good right away? By the way, if I was a sales company, I'd get my sales force to get that training right now so they could get out there and start using it right now, talking to customers, talking to everyone, so that we can make ourselves more relevant in real time as we're communicating. So ask yourself, how might we use visual communications now to enhance communication, collaboration, innovation, sales, and support? I think you'll get some great answers. This is Daniel Burris, author of Flash Foresight.